Hi, it's Maggie. Today I'm going to look at the transits of Hassan Jamil, um, Rihanna's boyfriend. So the first thing, I, I've already done his chart, I haven't posted it yet, but um, the first thing my eye goes to is his eighth house is lit up. It's lit. It's, <laughs> it's Oh my God, it's Scorpio's house for one thing, the eighth house is Scorpio, but he has Virgo there. And currently there's four planets in Virgo. So there's Mars, planet of action, um, the sun, it's, yeah, the sun, solar, solar self, um, Mercury, planet of communication. Mercury is conjunct his Venus and he is in love. He, Venus is conjunct Venus it's in the eighth house. That's joint assets. I mean, he he is just excelling in his work, in joint assets, his health. Um, everything is being attracted to him in his eighth house, Scorpio house. It's an earth sign, so you know it could affect his work and health. Um, and bring benefit, you know, and more ambition and drive. And, you know, Venus is a benefit. It's in its fall in Virgo, but it's still, it's going to be a planet of attraction for him. So, and it's opposing, it's opposing his moon. He has the moon in Pisces. He has Mars, zero degrees, Aries, and the, the North Node in Pisces. So it's opposing his moon and North Node. So he's in love. He is in love. He's probably considering merging his assets um, by getting married. I just, I don't know. That's the first thing that I really kind of noticed. Also because his transiting North Node is in Cancer. And it's in his seventh house of relationships. So it's very, it's actually in his sixth house of work. It's, uh, um, but it's in Cancer. So it's very much on his mind to maybe change the home situation, perhaps have children, uh, maybe move his work, you know, situation. Um, it's the opposition. The transits, as we all know, are going on in Capricorn. There's Saturn, the moon, I guess the moon's in Capricorn today. Yeah, Saturn, moon, it's just leaving Capricorn, thank God. But anyway, Saturn and Pluto and the south node are all transiting Capricorn. So for him, he has Capricorn in the 12th house. Um, so that's his, his work and his public persona, but it's interior, it's sort of an interior, interior part of him um, that, yeah, I, I just think he's, I think it's just looking at his Venus, you know, the Venus conjunctions, it's, it's very tight conjunction with Venus, um, transiting Venus is 23 degrees and his Venus is 20 degrees natally. So it's love. <laughs> He's in love, very much on his mind, communication, uh, maybe merging their work together. He and Rihanna somehow uh, merging work assets perhaps. Um, and that came from the, from the fourth house. His fourth house is Taurus, the fourth house is I was going to say home and children, but it can be, you know, family, home. Um, so Uranus is there, planet of changeability. So he could just up and move. Or something about his residence or his family is going to change. Be liberated, sudden unexpected change, or his finances uh, regarding the home. So. You know, that could change in a good way, or it's just going to be um, unpredictable. Uranus is very unpredictable, so, but it will be in his fourth house, and it is in Taurus. So Taurus is his resources, his values, and it's in the house of the 
home. It's in Cancer's house. So something's up with his with his home life. Yeah, there's going to be a change, a change in his home life. Um, but the North Node opposition is up for everyone. Everyone, you know, the the opposition between Cancer getting the getting the your personal security needs met and. Um, for him, it's his work and personality, which are all kind of tied up in one because he was born into this billionaire family. Um, yeah, so I'm... Neptune, transiting Neptune is in Pisces. He has Moon and North Node in Pisces. I just did his chart. Um, so Neptune... Well, he's... he's just, Totally in love with the Pisces for one thing. I think he is just mesmer, and it's on his north node, and it's opposing his Venus, conjunct Venus, conjunct transiting Venus. So, yeah, he's totally in love right now, which is it's a great thing. It's a great thing. It really is. Uh, it's all, all up in the stars. <laughs> yeah, it's. it's but the North Node, yeah, so he, what I'm trying to say is he is mesmerized, absolutely mesmerized by Rihanna's beauty. I mean, he, he truly is. And, you know, I say that because she is a Pisces. You know, her, her son is in Pisces. His North Node is in Pisces and his Moon's in Pisces. And transiting Neptune is in Pisces. So he sees her glamour on um, and it's just mesmerized by her. I just did their sinistry chart. That's why I'm talking this way. But, but I am. This is what I'm seeing in his transits. Really, um, all his Venus attraction, um, and and opposing the, the North Node. Yeah. So um, transiting Chiron is in Aries, in the third house of communication. And he has uh, Mars zero degrees Aries, so yeah, communication about um, some kind of. I don't know how how we're going to hear about that, but yeah, he's we're going to be hearing about him because zero degrees Mars, it's in Aries. Aries he has Aries in the third house. And he's in love with an Aries, Aries ascendant, rather, and the Aries moon woman. Um, so Chiron and Aries is just kind of making your personal wounds public, you know, it's like overcoming your... Nobody really knows how Chiron and Aries is going to play out, but I would think it would be um, just e expressing yourself in a different way or learning to identify or express yourself in a different way because he has that in his communication house, Gemini's third house. Jupiter, transiting Jupiter, he has in the 11th house of Sagittarius. So that's foreign travel, foreign travel, um, higher learning, you know, he is, he is from Saudi Arabia. And, Rihanna's from Barbados, and you know they're traveling all the world together. So traveling, adventure, higher learning. He's probably very highly educated. Um, but transiting Jupiter right now in his eleventh house is your hopes, wishes, and hopes and wishes and friendship. So he's just out partying and traveling, probably. Yeah. So, uh, but his eighth house is lit. It is lit with Venus, with Venus, opposing the North Node um, and his moon, making him very emotional and romantic. And because Capricornians as a rule aren't all touchy-feely, but he is 29 degrees Libra. So anyway, I'm not reading his chart right now, but yeah, Libra, he is the Libra and they love the arts. Libra, and they're, he's good looking, you know, he's good looking, tall, dark, and handsome. So he's got the sun and Mercury in Libra, so that, that's what, um, part of what she sees. 
Oh, yeah, the reason it kind of sounded like a sinistry chart is because it's just all right there. In the eighth house is, you know, passion. It's all about passion. Even though Virgo is, you know, <laughs> uh, he, I think he found the right one. I, I think he found, you know, as picky and analytical as he probably has been about relationships, having Venus and Virgo in his fall. Um, I think he's really found his true connection. And it's a beautiful thing to be in love. It really is. And I'm very, very happy for, for him and for them. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's what I'm seeing in this transit. So it's looking good. Uh, his, his first and 12th house, though, I think he's probably been through it. Um, there may have been, you know, some breakups and um, and endings, restructuring his business maybe, or his identity, his self, because Saturn and the moon in Capricorn are sitting right on his ascendant. And his ascendant, as I didn't intend to read his chart again, his ascendant is 20 degrees Capricorn, so he's very much the businessman. He was born to, you know, this uh, billionaire family that they, they own Toyota in Saudi Arabia, or part of it. But, uh, so Saturn is building structure. Moon is also in Capricorn. Well, that's today. That's going to move on. But Pluto is sort of tearing down structure. So he's been... Trans the Pluto is transformation. It's trans it's transformation, whether it's endings, transforming his personality or his life in some some way, in probably a lot of ways. So most of that has probably already happened. He may be rebuilding structure. He could be you know moving to a foreign country or yeah, yeah, but um, it's affecting his body, his personality, and you know, it's in his first and twelfth house. But his twelfth house, he is currently in relationship with a um, Pisces. So she's twelfth house, and she is an artist because he has Neptune in his twelfth house. So um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.